Hello everyone, I'm Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can dual boot Kali Linux and Windows 10 on a laptop. So without any further, let's get started. Okay, so let's now come on to what you will need for this dual boot. So these are the two things that you'll need. The first one is a Kali Linux ISO file. So this is Kali Linux 2020.3 installer. So this is the ISO file for Kali Linux that you're going to need. This is the latest version. And then the second thing that you'll need is a Win32 disk image. So this is the software with which we are going to uh, create a bootable pen drive so the link for these two will be in the description down below so go check those out so here is my usb drive which i'm going to use for creating a bootable usb drive so now we have to just open the win32 disk imager now here the usb drive is selected so my usb drive is the h drive so this one is already selected now next is we have to go ahead and search for this file so i'm just going to click on this button desktop let's change this to all and here is my iso file so i'm just going to open it so here it is opened now i'm just going to keep everything as it is and I'm going to click on write yes and it is just going to write it onto my USB drive so I let this process go on okay so the bootable pen drive is created now so we have created the bootable pen drive now I'm going to connect it onto my laptop and we are going to continue the installation process from there so as you can see that i have connected my bootable usb drive here on my laptop and now we are going to partition the c drive so that we can install kali linux and dual boot this system so i'm going to create a equal partition of c drive on this laptop so for partitioning I have to go into disk manager so here I'm just going to search disk manager and create and format hard disk partitions so here in disk manager as you can see this is the C drive and I'm just going to right click on this and shrink volume then here I'm going to just change this so I've changed it let's click on shrink so as you can see I selected a size that is almost half of what the total size of the disk is so as you can see here I have this 122 GB partition that is the first one main partition and then this is the shrinked space that is of 100.88 GB so this is unallocated right now so we'll keep this unallocated and I'm going to restart my computer and there I will select my bootable USB drive so that we can start the installation for Kali Linux. So guys, while it restarts, I have to press F12 on my laptop to open my boot menu so that I can go ahead and uh, boot with the USB drive. On a laptop it can be a different function key. Here I am going to select my bootable USB drive. So I am selecting the EFI USB drive 
of SanDisk. Okay, so here we are. Now I'm going to go ahead onto the graphical install. Okay, so here the language will be English and the thing is my trackpad is not working here. So I'm going to use tab. So I'm just going to keep English as it is and I've pressed tab and the continue button is selected. So enter then United States. So I'm just going to change it to India and tab enter. I'm just going to keep this as it is. So tab continue. Now here trackpad on my laptop is not working but if I connect a external mouse then I guess it should work. So why don't we try that. So guys I am connecting an external mouse here. So this is a wired Logitech mouse. And as you can see now the cursor is moving so it's working so an external mouse wired or wireless should work here but my trackpad is surely not working here okay so here I'm just going to keep this wireless network adapter for configuring the network and continue and here Netgear continue this also continue okay so I have configured the network so host name is going to be Kali then domain I'm just going to keep it blank full name Akash continue account name Akash as well continue let's write a password continue okay now here we are going to select manual method so this is my hard disk okay so let's search for the largest free space here is the largest free space that I have. This is that uh, unallocated space that we created on uh, the Windows side. So here we are going to install Kali Linux. So first of all, we have to create some partitions here. So I'm going to double click on it and create a new partition. And here I'm going to create partition of 1 GB continue I'm going to keep it in the beginning okay now here I'm going to use it as an EFI system partition continue and the boot flag is automatically turned on so let's just select this and continue so as you can see this is created with a boot flag now I'm going to double click on it create a new partition and if you want then you can create a swap partition as well but here I'm not going to create a swap partition so I'm just going to keep this as it is and continue and let this be as it is as well the mount point is slash that means the root file system so we'll keep this as it is and done setting up the partition so this is also done so we have a EFI system partition and our main root partition and I'm just going to keep everything as it is scroll down 
finish partitioning and write changes to disk. So remember these two partitions are created. So we're going to finish this. Yes, we don't have a snap partition and we want to continue without it. So no, we don't want to return back. So these are the two partitions 5 and 6 ESP and EXT4. So write changes to disk. Yes, continue. And there we go. The installation is started. So this is going to take some time. So I'm just going to skip it. Okay, now we have to select some softwares that we want to be installed on the system. So these are the things that are already been selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to keep these as it is and continue. So now it is going to install all those things. So I'll see you after the installation. Okay guys, so installation is successfully completed. So now I'm going to continue. And it's going to restart. Okay, so as you can see here, we have now the option for booting into Windows and with this we will be able to boot into our newly installed Kali Linux. So let's go into that. Okay, so now I'm going to put my username and password. And we are logged into our newly installed Kali Linux and it's working fine so there are a couple of things that I want to talk about uh, before ending this video so during installation I selected manual uh, partitioning in there I didn't create any swap partition now you can create a swap partition uh, there is nothing wrong in that but why I didn't create a swap partition is because I have an SSD on my laptop and in some articles I have read that if you create a swap partition then in long run it can affect the speed of your SSD. So it's fine if you don't have swap partition and if you have good amount of RAM on your system then you won't need a swap partition. So yeah that's about the swap partition and the second thing is that during installation my trackpad on my uh, laptop didn't work so what you can do is you can connect an external mouse it can be a wired or wireless both are going to work so you can do that or what you will have to do is you will have to just use the tab on your keyboard because the good news is keyboard is working so you can just tab and navigate through all the options it is going to be hard but that is the option that you have otherwise you will have to connect an external mouse so right now i have an external mouse connected so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove it and i have removed my external mouse trackpad is working fine so the trackpad issue is just during the installation after installation it is working perfectly fine and Wi-Fi is also connected so yep my Wi-Fi is connected there is a Bluetooth option as well so I guess everything is working out of the box there is nothing to worry about so yeah this was the installation for Kylinux so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and put into my windows 10 operating system so let's restart windows boot manager and it is showing 
uh, that an automatic repair has been preparing. This is not because of the dual booting. I actually did uh, close my PC directly. So that's why it is showing that. But it is all fine here. So I'm just going to continue with Windows 10. Okay, so Windows 10 is booted. Okay, great. So this is also booting fine. So let me show you the Windows version here. So this is the Windows version that I'm currently on. So as you can see, it is the latest version 2004. So I've shown you the installation process for both the uh, operating systems latest version on a laptop okay so that was the bootable installation process for kali linux and windows 10 and if you want to learn linux command line then i have a course on udemy where i go from basic to advanced commands so i'll give the link in the description down below with a coupon code uh, which will be for a limited time but if it expires then you can contact me through mail or social media and i'll send you another code right away so do check that out in the description down below so i guess that's it for this one like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one